Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Yee's 8. We've just picked up this woman right here. Well, woman might be a stretch here. It might be a bit of a stretch. Her name is Ricotta. I've, I'm going to forget that for a while now. It's just going to confuse me, but her name is Ricotta. She's got some skills. We'll test her out in battle. We'll see how that goes. So the Hod's kind of side-eyed right now. Oh, that's right. Hummel is nowhere to be found. Right, 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 right. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We looked at her skills. I think we're set up there. We just need to get her some equipment. Um, we could go back to camp right away, but I don't think that's what, like, story-wise they want us to do. Let's see what we can cook here. Uh, sure. Give me another colorful... I'm gonna miss up this name. Just give me three of those. Okay. Done and done. We don't have anything else we can collect here, right? I mean, we can rest here, which is great. That's very nice of her, by the way, to let us rest in her place. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's get out of here. I mean, supposedly they want to take us, or take her, rather, to the outside world. But I think we got to go upstairs first. I mean, there is a, there's a crystal right here. So we could always just teleport. I do want to get her, yeah... Yeah, I think we should need to get her fully maxed out on weapons. Assuming we have enough iron. Let's look at the list here and see what we got. Accessory. Oh, did we give her accessories? I think we did, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Okay, so key items. Calm materials. Here we go. Okay, so we've got thick hide here. We have 29 iron. It should be pretty good. Trouble is we don't know exactly what she needs. Maybe she needs tectite. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, I guess we don't know what we need. Well, the only way to know that is to go to Catherine. Or Kathleen, sorry. Go to Kathleen. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to teleport. Um, yeah, so, okay. There's two crystals right here. The cabin on Gendarm and... Huh. Okay. All right. Uh, so, go back home. Oh, they want us to go back home anyway. Oh, yeah, they totally have that destroyed destination. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Let's go. This might be voiced as a cutscene. Oh, yeah, it is. It definitely is. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. She didn't say anything when she showed up, so it's so hard to tell. Let's see. At least I want to see if there's music. Nope, not voiced. I'm disappointed. This is your village? <laughs> you look surprised. gonna climb up there almost immediately. I mean, come on. Sahad, what's that? That? That's called a watch tower. We use it to spot beasts and ships from afar. And that's a fireplace, and that's a bench, and... Oh, not really a fireplace, more like a fire pit. Why is there fire burning here? Because it's the village center. People gather here to talk and whatnot. On the mainland, they got cities what have even more people in buildings than this. Cities? I've read about those. Don't take my word for it, though. I've never actually been to a city before. Wait a minute, 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 wait just a bloody second here. Where does Sahad sell his fish? Does he just... Does he only go to the smaller ports? Okay, I mean, I guess it works, but that's just... That's a damn peculiar admission there, Sahad. That's damn peculiar, now I'm like... Well, I was going to say a thousand more suspicious, but I mean, really, my suspicious points are going, like, everywhere right now. So Sahad is probably, like, the least suspicious person. If I had to give a point value, I'd give him, like, a one on the suspicious scale. So now it's doubled to two. That's not... I mean, a thousand percent would mean it would go to... Uh, ten? I guess? Which is still pretty low. I'm not doing that math right now at all, am I? 20, I think, is what it would go to for a thousand. No, I don't even know. Math, not my thing. Okay, she's laughing at her now. It's rude. That's what that is. And she's just humming along. Okay. Okay, they're they're getting together. They're getting along surprisingly well. Surprise, surprisingly good with kids. Well, he has a kid, doesn't he? Probably around her age. They almost look like father and daughter together. Yeah, well, he is a father. 
Oh, don't do that one, though. That's just going to set her off. Let's just do that. He is a father. Anyway, once he's done showing Ricardo around, we'll head to Kathleen Smithy. Yes, we should. She's blushing for some reason? What's with her? Hey, Kathleen. What's up? Hey, it also nothing to do for you? Absolutely. fucking lootly Explain the situation to Kathleen to show Ricardo to show the throwing dart. Right, yeah, we gotta figure out some way to take out those primordials. I see. Do you recognize this metal? Hmm. Hmm. I can imagine this like three hours later. Kathleen has not said a single word. She just stared at this dart for like three hours, contemplating and going, hmm, hmm, hmm. Everybody's on waiting, bated breath. Nothing. Then finally, in the fourth hour, Kathleen? I mean, sure, try hitting it. Why the hell not? That's the only one we got. Relax, take a look. Huh? Not even scratched? Yep, and not had been damaged at all. Guess I should have taken my grandfather's stories more seriously. What are you talking about? There's an old story that's been passed down in Greek about a certain metal. Tougher than diamond and never rust, but I figured it was just a tall tale. Oh my. This metal is said to have a faint glow like the color of sunlight and a shimmering surface. They call it Oracol. Oracol. It's awful whether it even exists, but that hasn't stopped nobles and collectors from trying to find it. Many people have visited my parents' forge in search of Oracol. Why your parents' forge? That's just damn weird. I mean, I guess if you're looking around at every smithy, you don't skip any of them, right? No matter how weird that is. I suppose. All right. I never thought it actually existed. So, if we made weapons out of this stuff, you might be able to fight at the Primordials, yes. However, if you want a whole new weapon forge from Arakalkum, you need a lot more than this. Do you know where you can mine more of it? Well, do you know where your father found this, Rakata? I don't know. How lamentable. Oh, that's a good word. And we're at an impasse. Okay, come on, come on. Put it all together, Adol. Put it all together. You had this dream. You can totally make this work. What is it, Adol? We might find something in Old Strata. Yeah, there you go. Old Strata? Where'd you come up with that? Well, yeah, though confused, Adol described the strange dream. There you go, Adol. Finally. Finally. Expecting you to drop the knowledge bomb, like, I don't know, at least an episode ago. Your dream, huh? Hey, doll, please don't take this the wrong way, but are you feeling all right? Hmm, Old Strata is much more likely to contain the ore, or contain ore in general, really. Okay, really? Strata, I know what that is. It's made with bread, eggs, and cheese. A real taste, really yummy. Strata. Okay, hold on. She's confusing it with something. I don't know what that is. Bread, eggs, and cheese. Bread, eggs, and cheese. I mean, the only thing I think of is a quiche. Bread, eggs, and cheese. Bread, eggs, and cheese. I mean, you can do a lot of things with bread, eggs, and cheese. I mean, those are really hearty staples you can do almost anything with. I don't know. Let's see if Loxia sees what it is. I mean, she is supposedly our cook. No, Ricotta. We're not talking about the casserole. Oh, casserole, of course. Yeah, that too. Yep, any casserole. I guess quiche is kind of a casserole. You're not? Strata are layers of hardened dirt piled on top of each other. It's like layers of really old rock with got fossils in them, right? Let me finish. You won't impart the correct information with such a crude explanation. Uh, but he's not wrong, though. I know that. Huh? I saw it with my father. There's an old cave with lots of fossils near the mountain where I live. Oh, fan frickin tastic Ricotta's on point. We got this. Hmm. It must be in this area near the foot of Gendarme that we have yet to explore. And... If this cave is somewhere near the foot of the mountain... Based on your description of how long it took to walk there from your cabin, the cave must be somewhere in this area. 
We should make it to the cave if we leave from here. Um, why though? Why should we do that? That is very strange. Isn't that the waterfall? Yeah, isn't that the waterfall dungeon? Huh. Or something very close to it. Why would we... That's very weird. Why wouldn't we go directly up to where her... That is very strange. And we already know how to get to her cabin. Why would we need to go down from there? Loxia is being weird. I don't get it. Let's forget about Adol's dream for now. Yeah, I mean, it puts you on the right track, but you're right. Right now, you don't know what the heck's going on. So, yeah, definitely put it off to the side. That gave me our best shot at finding a solid aura column deposit. All right, then. Let's head to that cave. Tally-ho! I need a furnace that can handle higher temperatures to refine our column. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry, Kathleen. There is definitely going to be a boss that is going to be guarding a fire gem, whatever the heck it is you need. Don't you worry. That is going to take care of itself just by following the plot here. Not to mention a more efficient fuel source. At least that's what my grandfather said. I better start preparing then. Good idea. You be careful, at all. Yeah, just you, at all. Never mind the rest of you. Just at all. Adol's the only one who's really important here. Everyone else... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, Keith. Look, Kathleen. Buddy, pal, friend of mine. Oh, we give her the silver barrette. Okay, sure, why not? Adol. Here you go, silver barrette. Since you are a valuable member of this castaway village, and possibly, I'm just going to say this to you, and don't, you know, don't tell anybody else, but you might be the most valuable member... Here's this wonderful gift to make sure you understand how much we appreciate you. Is this for me? Why Brett? Uh, well, I thought I'd look good on you. <laughs> I never saw you as a flirt. That's not, it's not flirting. It's just, you know, you might look good with a Brett is all I'm saying. Consider me surprised. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't think I'd find a Brett to be so pretty. Um, you don't like it? No, no, I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry if my murmuring caused you to worry about the gift. It's just that I've been a blacksmith for a long time. I'm not used to being treated so delicate. A barrette is delicate? Is it? I I guess I don't know. Sure, why not? We'll do with that. Anyway, I'm grateful. <laughs> seem to lose track of time whenever I talk with you. Well, if you want me to repair your weapons, come back anytime. I did not mean to start a flirting thing here. I'm curious if she's going to wear the barrette now. She is not wearing the barrette. Well... It's fine. Maybe she didn't really like the gift. She like just likes at all. That's possible. Okay, I would like to enhance weapons, How please. Can I help you today? Her coconut maces are nice and all, but we need they need to be better. Okay, that's actually decent. We can started. do this. Made of coconuts right, and flexible vines. That seems seems like that's got to be improved, right? Leave it to me. Okay, so that's maxed out. Can we actually get that? I cannot do anything else with this. Is that it? How can, can I, I seriously not? They're maxed out. I can't do anything else. I mean, their strength 110. The only thing more powerful is Sahad's Warhammer, so I guess it's fine. Okay. Right. That's fine. How what about armor? I don't think she has any armor right now. Um. Well, actually, Ringmail would actually be a decrease for her. Yeah, none of this stuff is good for her. She's... Everyone else would be... Oh, Black Iron, actually, pretty good. Um, especially for Sahad. Actually, wouldn't do too horrible in it either. I think everyone right now... Oh, no, no, no. Everyone's using... What is everyone using? Something different, I suppose. I don't want to drop health at all. Only thing that doesn't drop health... And uh, would drop, yeah, no, everything drops health. This would only be good, it looks like, for Sahad. I don't want to drop anyone's health right now. I don't know what we've got on them at all. all right. Hold on. Cancel out of this. What do we have on everybody right now? Um, that's not going to tell me. Hold on. Let's go here. And equipment. Okay, so you've got... Okay, you've got the Beastly Guard. That's what you have. Okay. The Pyro Coat. Oh, it does add some HP. Okay. You know, I wish we could see these on the character model. I'm so sad that's not a thing. Oh, that's right. She has the Oracle Robe. I totally forgot that was a thing. Alright, that's fine. 
Right, we have the pretty lady apparel right now. If we take that off, she's okay. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and put that on then. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of pink, but it's fine. Got the dandy Fisher, which is fine. We don't have a costume for you. Let's go to the tailor and see if that's a possibility, though. Okay, we upgraded the coconuts. That's mostly what I wanted to do here. I mean, it's good to know where the Oracle comes is going to be too. But we've got to. Gotta make sure everyone's set up with the right equipment. Okay, so hello there, Allison. Please take your time. Let's see what you've got. We do have apparel here, but none of it. Oh, I don't. I would think Clingy Picard. No. It's gotta be, but unfortunately we don't have the soft fiber. We only need two of that though. We should be able to trade for that. Are you done already? Okay. Let's go back to Dina here. See if we can get some soft fiber. It's probably Take a trade up. Time. Soft fiber, please. What do you got? None of those are soft fiber. Rare, is it? Yeah, here we go. Okay, I will take two of those, please. Thank you kindly. Appreciate it. And go back over here and get this done. Well, Allison, I'd like you to tailor this for me, please. I would like. Actually. Okay, okay. Rakata can wear the Oracle robe if we want her to. Get her some evade up. She can also wear... No, she can't wear the pilot robe. Dang, 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 dang. Um, Alright, what about the clinging Pickard? Looks like it's all of them. All of them can wear the clinging Pickard? The cute Pickard attachment hugs whoever wears it. I don't know what that means. So we're gonna wear it. We're gonna create it and give it to her. Please come again. So I don't see her right now, so I don't know what that means by it clings to whoever wears it. So I guess we're fine. Um what about Welcome? Um, what about armor? Okay, so we can give her an Oracle robe. Needle wristband gives one defense up, that's not very much. Adds poison. Ooh. Yeah, actually, maybe. Sturdy lumber, sturdy bone. You know, we have a lot of this. Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and create this. Come again. Um, give that to her. So now it's equipped on her. Can we actually poison? I don't know if the poison is going to be that effective. We'll see how effective this is. Leather gloves, which is fine. So I guess... I'm sad that she can't wear the pirate coat. Born of Oracle Robe is still... I mean, it's cursed, supposedly, but... It does raise HP. It does lower her defense, though. Lowering her defense sounds bad. Raising HP sounds great if we can do it, but I don't want to lower her defense. I like it all. Even, even the minus two there, I think, is too bad. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Okay, it's not then. Um, let's look at... I keep doing that. I keep going to that list like that's going to help me out. Okay, so you've got a needle wristband already. You've got an athlete ring. You've got shield earrings. And you've got a clingy pickard, which I don't even... Oh, there he is. Okay. He's just on her... Okay, that, that is kind of adorable. Is that a real pickard? Hopefully not. It's so hard to tell, but it seems like her, right? It's very her. I'm totally okay with this. That works out. If we don't have a costume for her yet, I'm sure it'll come up. Okay, let's get moving. We've got a long way to go. Well, and a long time to get there, I suppose. Oh, we can talk to you. Why do we want to talk to you guys? Oh, about the shoe bill. Alright, what's going on? Is this voiced? Nope, not voiced. Okay. I'll just raise it up a little bit so we get some music attachment here. Alright. Oh, wait all. I was giving Ricardo a tour of the Castaway Village when... Oh, you're here at all? I want you to introduce you to someone. This right here is my mentor. Squaw. Amazing, huh? It seems they've been together for a rather long time. My mentor is the reason I'm still alive. When I was a youngling, she would feed me and protect me from beasts. She taught me how to find food, too. But most of all, she filled me with lots of warm, fuzzy feelings. She's the best mentor ever. 
Okay, apparently some parental feelings there. Okay. It's not what you think. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. She can speak Shoebill, or she can understand Shoebill, I suppose. It's not what you think? Don't be embarrassed, silly. How adorable. This is pretty cute. Um, are we just going to gloss over the fact that Ricotta can understand Shoebill? So is your mentor pals with your father, too? They're not super close. Huh? Actually, I just recently learned. My mentor thinks birds and humans don't get along so well. That's why whenever father was around, she would keep her distance. Oh, I see. Then why is she here? There are many humans here. I had to make sure Ricotta would be safe. No one here seems dangerous, so I believe my work here is finished. Take good care of Ricotta. Mentor? Um, you can count on us. I think it's totally a fair thing to say. Let's do it. Indeed, we won't leave her side while we search for her father. Yeah, she's totally staying in the party. I don't know, Sahad's pretty good too, but I definitely want to see how she is in battle. I'm pretty sure she's going to be awesome. That's right, you don't got to worry about her. You guys. I'm a little sad though. I know I'm your pupil, but I can't depend on you forever. I gotta get stronger. Indeed, I'll try my hardest. I will still watch over Ricotta from far. It's funny she's not saying that it's what the shoe bill is saying, but she's still... Like, everyone seems to know she's translating. Please keep bringing me tasty fish. Okay, we can do that. In exchange, I will help you protect the village. Oh, heck yeah. That's reassuring. Is an interesting turn of events. Welcome aboard, Big Bird. Shubo will provide... Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Um, we should probably feed the bird some more, right? Let's talk to the Shubill. So I've got to see my mentor. Your father and I went went to is near the mentor where I lived. Let's go so we can come back to the village. Okay. I really do like it here. I'll make it my turf. Your turf? You can come and go freely on your turf. You don't want me to come here? Oh, that's what you meant. That was a startling word choice. <laughs> of course I want you to come here. Really? Thanks, I will. Okay, so I can't actually talk to the shoe bill for some reason? He says quest on him. Did I totally forget about a quest right now? Hold up. Hold up here. Let's see. Oh, the wish tree. That's right. We did find a wish tree. Did we find the... I don't think we found the sparkling Mikis yet. Okay. Let's talk to him about the wish tree. Not Dogi. Sahat. There we go. You really going to help me plant the tree? Of course. Get that off my quest list. And I'll decide to plant the tree he brought back in a wide open area. I'm more puzzled by the question of where he put it in the meantime, but heroes all have hammer space pockets. This is how that works. And then... That's pretty. Well, of course, there's a ceremony, right? What's all the commotion? I don't know. We were all asked to come here all of a sudden. All right. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to pass around some seashells so you can all write a wish on them. One wish per person. Wish? I already know what I'm wishing for. Get off this island, duh. Yeah, there's no point in writing that. Hmm, are you sure? Oh, come on, kid. I'd write a better wish than that. There's lots of stuff I want to do after I get off this island. Wishing to get off the island feels like a waste. You have a point. Yeah, I got it at some point. I guess at some point I forgot. We're not trying to survive just to escape the island. But to realize our wishes that are waiting for us. I actually prepared a bunch of different kinds of seashells. Blue is for self-improvement. Yellow is for fortune. Pink is for love. Wow. Sahad went way, way out of his way to do this. Good for you, Sahad. Ooh, I want a yellow one. And everyone talks at once. Okay, great. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay, that's a cute little way to bring the community together. Nicely done, Sahad. Server so Midmorph Castaway Village proceeded to write down the wishes. Great. United by their shared wish of seeing home today, someday. Okay, that was a pretty good idea, Sahad. Totally brought the community together. Nicely done. 
Dazzling array of colors decorated the wish tree. I mean, I don't see that right now, but I'm going to take your word for it. Or are they going to show it to us in a minute? No? That's not how that works? That's too bad. Okay. Okay, that's that's neat. What a fantastic wish tree. All right, this is all thanks to you, buddy. You did it. Nah, you're a big help getting this set up. Thanks a lot, Adol. Here's a little something for you. Hope you like it. Wipe me down. Okay, some fish. Thank you. I guess he did have to empty out all the seashells, right? All the clams and whatnot. Looking at this tree, it reminds me of home. With all the friends we got here, we'll definitely make it home. Let's keep working hard until the day we get out of here, Adol. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. Oh, nice. Okay. Maximum HP up. Nice. Um, let's see. Don't we have... Okay, the shoe bill is not here anymore. I guess because now he's an accepted member of the community. He's just downstairs now. I'm okay with that. We have 64 bait. 64 bait. That's crazy. Also, where did Hummel go? Hummel is just gone forever now. I don't know where he went. It's possible he has some illicit cargo he needs to take care of. But really, he should just trust us. I mean, do rules even... Are they even a thing? I don't think rules are a thing right now. Don't see... I thought I saw somebody sitting over here, but I guess that was not real. Nope, that was one of the... Okay, never mind. Nothing there. And this is the raid area, which we don't need to do anything with right now. Okay. Let's just make sure we have all the medicine we need, and we have all the food we need, because we just cooked some food. I have a quest for you. I don't think we've done that yet. Do have we? We're protecting our medicine. Yeah, okay. So I don't have the sparkling mucus yet. Okay. What do you need? We do have one free Please thing there, so that's good. Hopefully we don't need any revive medicine. Because if we do, we're probably sunk. Any other quests? Just new medicine. Okay. I would love to do that once we get some sparkling mucus, which we're totally going to get. Okay. Let's go teleport. Apparently we need to start here. That seems strange. Okay, Mount Gendarme is a dungeon. Interesting. Um, so we were here at the cabin. It seems weird not to go from there, but it says to go from here. So I guess we should follow that. The Great River Valley. Okay, no, the... Okay, the waterfall grotto is here. That is way too small. Well, can I zoom in here? There we go. Yeah, that is way too small to be able to hold uh, the entrance to this over here. Okay, so some here, somewhere here in the Great River Valley. So this seems like the wrong teleport spot. It looks like maybe this camp here. We only have 13 people, so we can't do anything. It's too bad the shoe bill doesn't count, right? That'd be only be 14, even if it was true. Okay. So, I guess this camp. Let's mark this. There. So we know we need to get there. We'll go with from Loxia. Loxia is educated. She knows exactly... She knows how to read a map. I mean, I supposedly know how to read a map, but come on. Let's be honest here. I don't. I mean, not nearly as well as, like, an in-game character, right? Okay. Ricotta, we're going to test you out in battle here. See how well this goes. Okay, right, I forgot to turn on the volume. It is going to be a little loud if I don't do that. That seemed to work out okay, though. She did do the break, as expected. These guys full of shells is probably the best for her. Okay, interesting moves. Just trying out. Okay, that was a weird little bump there, but okay. Okay, this does work. She's like got a little bit of range to her. It's kind of nice. Not as much as Sahad, I think, but still pretty good. All right, let's take care of these guys. I don't remember. Don't remember what caused these guys to break or not. I think it might be actually be at all. We want to go this way, apparently. Oh, okay. This is this is Laxia. Oh, that was a break. 
Okay, that's a new move for us. I kind of like it. That is not... Oh, that is sterile. No, no. I'm gonna use, we don't need sterile. We need sparkling. Where are we going to go here? Let's see. Oh, no. Can't. Come on. Get up here. There we go. The break is fine. I'm not able to do much there. There we go. Good skill finish. We're just going to take care of this guy over here. Um, excuse me. You should be dead. You should be dead. Thank you. I think I was out of magic juice there or something. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? We need to go... Okay, there we go. There is actually... And I'm totally going the wrong exit. We need to go north. This is why we look at maps. Just in case. There. Nice. Okay, so we want to go over this side. Have we... No, we must have been over this side, right? It seems likely, but I guess anything is possible. Oh, we... I don't think I refilled my insect nest repellent. It should be fine. It should be fine. Right yeah, let's just fill this up just in case. Alright, this is actually... Oops, sorry, wrong one. This one here. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Okay, apparently we've never been that direction before. Good to know. I don't see any treasure chest or anything, so... Just head over to the west and we should find our way. How did I miss it before? Oh, wasn't this covered by or protected by the Tyrannosaur? He's a primordial. How are we going to get past him? Oh, okay. No, no, no. We'd walk on that. Okay. We need to change our adventuring gear. We can do that. Yes, let's trade out. We don't need the glow sticks right now. Go for the floating shoes instead. And also maybe a cutscene. Probably not going to be voiced. Yep, not voiced. Okay. We're going through the swamp. Yes, according to the map, the cave should be just up ahead. Okay, this is why we didn't do it before. Because we didn't have the shoes of floating or whatever this is. Right, Ricotta? My apologies, I don't remember that well. It seems the only way to go is forward. Be careful, everyone. I mean, as usual, right? Always be careful. Let's take out this guy over on the side here. I think this is Adol, I think, needs to do this. Okay, remember to dodge. Oh, good dodges. Alright. Really hoping that tornado would be doing better damage, but... Oh, good hits, good hits. I can't even mad. I mean, I'm a little mad at myself, but that's different. Yeah, there we go. Now he's staggered. Just take him out. Just take him out. There we go. Good skill finisher. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, there is a treasure chest over here. Uh, Laxia, you're up. Okay, there seems to be, like, a second part. If you, like, double tap these. Yeah, there we go. That was a good flash move, too. Can we target this guy, please? Unfortunately, it does... It does expend the meter quite a bit. Oh, good stagger, good stagger. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's, this, like, a double tap move there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, how are we going to get up here? It looks like we need to drop in down from above. There's no way we're hopping up here, right? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, no worries. No worries. Let's target the flying guy over here. Hello. Good break. Okay. Just wreck this guy. Come on, wreck him. Wreck him. Wreck him. Uh, she seems to be targeting the poor girl. What the hell is up with that? Spawn. This is rude. I mean, it does do a, that second attack does a lot of damage. It does expend the bar quite a bit. That should have counted as a skill finisher. I'm just saying. Did you have any fruit? Nope, not a fruiting tree. Not a fruiting? Is that a thing? Fruiting tree? I think that's right, right? And before the bad guys get too wild on us, right here, we're gonna go grab this chest. Bait? That's it? Man, that's disappointing. I don't see any fishing area here. This water, I would not trust fish from this water, I'm just saying. It just seems a little bit too dirty. 
Okay, so there's going to be lots of bad guys up here. Yep, there they are. Um, I don't know. Okay, we can go this way, yeah. Good break, good break. Did that actually did not break. There we go, that's the break I wanted. These freaking bugs. Okay, let's not... Let's not go through the area change over just yet. Oh, there's another chest over there. Okay, this chest might be valuable. Maybe. There. Good break. Grab this. Tiger Claw. That sounds really good. My guess is accessory. Um, let's look at it. It's not an adventuring gear. Okay. In that case, it probably is equipment. Um, how do we tell that? My guess would be... Yeah, here we go. Flash guard time, 1.5. Multiplies dur the duration. Hmm. It sounds interesting. But since that's all it does, I'm going to say no thank you. The gambler coin, I think, might be better for us. Just because the... The uh, advanced... Or higher rare drop rate might be better. Okay, hopefully no primordials around here. Okay, where do we need to go exactly? We don't know. Okay. Oh, I guess it just... We just wind our way up here. Somehow. And we don't know what that is yet. Okay. North somehow. Well, we're not going to get that way going to the right. So I guess we go to the left. Hello, folks. As Relaxia shines. I need to stop double tapping that. Though it does it is a great move, it's very powerful. But it's um it's using up a lot of our skill. A lot of our skill power. Oh, okay, he dropped traps. That is rude. Didn't know you could do that. Did I? Yeah, I did not trade over it properly. Okay, dodge away, dodge away. We're good, we're good, we're good. I thought maybe... Okay. I thought wrong, basically. Let's try add all here. Oh, uh, there we go. Nice move. The trouble is with two of them, it's going to be a little hard to dodge. Come on, stagger him, stagger Okay, oh, he is staggered. I'm not targeting him for some reason? There we go, now he's targeted. Good skill finish. Give me some tornadoes here, and we should be good. Oh, he was actually staggered very well. All right. Nice. Although we are all damaged right now. Maybe time to eat some food? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's eat some food. Let's have... What would we like for dinner today? I would like... Some attack and defense up? That sounds good. Let's do that. I can keep going. Uh, looks like the bridge is out. That's unfortunate. We're not going that way. A bridge? It's been completely destroyed, probably by a primordial. My father made this bridge. Well, if we don't fix it, we can't go any further. True. Mercado, your father's obviously very intelligent and skilled. What kind of person is he? Father? He's an explorer. Might as well just said adventurer. An explorer, I see. Is her dad being an explorer kind of like how to all... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sahal. That's just what I said. We're on the same page. Not quite. For one, explorer is a broad term that applies to a variety of people. Some may travel to unexplored lands, searching for riches that have yet to be discovered. Others may travel the world, preaching the tenets of the philosophy by which they live. Really? An explorer would preach? Sounds more like a missionary to me. All in all. Explorers are always challenging themselves to make new discoveries. Whereas an adventurer, in my opinion, is just someone who acts with reckless abandon. Gee, thanks, Alexia. Standing right here. Right, standing right here. To your right. Which is the perfect description of that all, really. Okay, no, she totally knows what she was saying. Thanks, Alexia. Thanks. I see. That means Thanatos came here looking to discover something. No... Father washed ashore here while he was traveling and going on an expedition elsewhere. I helped him after I found him unconscious on the beach. 
Wait a minute. How long have you been on this island? My whole life. Wow. You've been here for as long as you can remember? Indeed. I've been the only human here for a long time. That's why I was happy to find Father and why I'm happy you guys came here. Rakata. Well, I hope we can reunite you and your father real soon. Yes, let's alert the village at once and repair this or repair this bridge at once. Okay. Yeah, we should have another people, hopefully. Yeah, 11 people required. Th we have 13 people here. Easy. Done. No problem. Make up request? Yes. Yep, little Paro. Thank you, little Paro. With Uro on the consummate handyman leading the effort, everyone is assigned to a specific task to be in repairing the bridge. It's kind of funny this doesn't require materials. Like, we should have to use some of the lumber we've acquired or something like that, but no, we just magically make this work. Bridge repaired, thanks to everyone help. Okay, I mean, it's... I'm a little puzzled about that center bit down the middle. I don't understand the efficacy of that, but I'm sure everyone knew what they were doing. It's all fixed up. Nice work, Uron. Let's continue on. Yeah, Uron's not even here right now, Sahad. So Nearby event points marked. Okay. I'm just going to look over this direction and see if there's anything we can do here. Uh, this does wind its way down. I'm just looking to see if there's a fishing point or anything. The water's moving very fast. There might not be one. No? Okay, I don't see anything else. All right. Oh, and I fell down. Um, whoops. <laughs> okay, not a, word, not a word. We can just go back up this way. Okay, we're good. Okay. Go across the... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There's a chest down there. That's why it wound its way down there. How did I not see that before? Is it only because I fell down that I saw the chest? Where is the chest? It's around this way. Oh, there it is. Hello there. Hero belt. I mean, it seems like if they hit it here, it might be good. Let's see. So, probably an accessory. Let's assume it's going to be better than the blade ring. So the blade ring is strength plus 10. Hero belt is gain extra when attacked. That means you have to take damage. I'm not wild about that. Yeah, I'm not wild about that. I mean, I like the extra gain, don't get me wrong, but... We gain extra by attacking, so no. No, I'm good. Thanks. Wish I could sell these items, but, you know, we don't really use money in the community, so we're good. Okay, let's cross the bridge. Get over here. <laughs> I bet I can catch a lot. Hold on. It's one of the... Was that Loxia that said something about catching fish? Is there actually a spot here? The thing is, it wasn't subtitled, so I'm not exactly sure what I heard. I don't see a spot. It's possible that she didn't... She might have mentioned something else. Yeah, I don't see a... I don't see a fishing spot here. What the heck? Okay, we'll hit the crystal, for sure. Okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, pull him into that. Break him. Get rid of him. Good work. Loxy, you're up because these guys fly. Okay, these guys break pretty easy. That was pretty nice. What is this? This is Tektite and some other stuff. Alright, no fishing spot? Oh, looks like there might be a fishing spot over there. That might actually have some a crystal in it. Okay, yeah, just break him. It's fine. It worked out. Oh, right, right, right. Don't hit that button. Okay, now we trade over and see if maybe... Ooh, that was nice. I like that move. I haven't done that one enough. Okay. We can definitely fish for this. Yeah, it looks like it might have, might have a chest. Let's take care of these guys first. So, you first. Bedesia? Oh, I can lay out traps. That's totally on me. Okay. Wow. He just came up with the rock and bopped us. <laughs> just a good old-fashioned bop. Good break. Good break. Okay. Solid. Ready to go. 
Okay, let's fish. Um, let's try out your fishing abilities here, Ricotta. Let's see if I can do this properly. I don't know, that's pretty far. Might not be able to do it, we'll see. Nope, that is not nearly far enough. Okay, you can't do it. How about you, Adol? Can you, can you go that far? It's very far. The thing is, we can go into the water, right? Oh, we can totally go into the water. Okay, we... Sorry, didn't even realize. Don't scare away the bird or the fish, but this should be just a simple chest. Yeah, here we go. Well, we'll get another strange jewel. We'll be able to trade at some point. Possibly. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Yep, prismatic jewel. We need like 10 of those, and I think we have five, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, something's there. But we can't go into... Yeah, we can't go in there. So we've got to wrap our way around a long way. Okay, Loxia, you're up, because there's a lot of flyers around here. These guys love to charge. Can that break, please? Oh, okay, just trying not to get hit. Yeah, we're good. Okay, there we go. The monkeys are... I don't know how big of a problem they are. They don't apparently break the way I thought they would. Um, at all? Maybe you're good with monkeys? I have no idea who's good with monkeys here. But we have some flying guys here, so don't let them hit you. It's actually... Okay, there we go. There's the break. That's all I wanted. Just a little bit of a break. Still haven't found any sparkling mucus. That is not what I expected there. Are these termites? What are these? They have some kind of weird... I don't even know what that is. There we go. Yeah, okay, it's a break. Yeah, definitely ricotta. For these termite guys. What are these? Muskards? There's a lot of them here, too. This could be a problem. Just don't let them hit you. If I can wrap around, that'd be better. Okay, there we go. Brakes work out very well. Yeah, we just need to use our specials more often. No worries. These massacres are everywhere, though. Can you hit me, please? Thank you. Don't hit me. Not sure. It seems like wherever there's one, there seems to be very many more of them. Okay, he dropped anyway. If we interrupt them, they don't seem to be able to do their attacks. It's great. There, there's the break. Though he went very far. Okay, so Ricotta has some serious knockback on her powers. Like, that guy went very far there. Takes a long time. We're not doing nearly as much damage. 17 doesn't seem like that good. Not when Adol and Loxy are doing like 80. Uh, that was not what I wanted. I thought for sure that we'd get him. Or did it? Maybe it already did. Yeah, I'm not wild about Ricotta's. Ricotta's got some interesting moves, for sure. Not wild about the traps, though. Have we ever actually seen one of those traps hit? I don't think we have. Let's see where we need to go here. We need to go, well, north somehow. So I guess we wind our way to the east and work our way north. All right. Well, that's what we'll do next time. Thank you for watching. This has been Yeez8 on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.